Hi everybody, welcome back to the Rebel Show. Today I'm not alone. I have my best friends, Kiki, together with me. Hi there. <laughs> As you guys know, coronavirus happened in 2020 and actually we are at the point that a lot of countries are re-shutting down. So there is lockdowns in several countries again. We are actually right now in the Netherlands. This is where we live. We are actually opening up, but you know, we don't know what's going to happen in a few months or a few weeks from now on. I'm here with Kiki who is a blogger yes. who wrote a really nice article about how to stay fit during the corona crisis so the pandemic and it's really important to stay healthy because you're home all the time and you want to stay healthy and fit as well. Gyms are closed and we are very limited in what we can do to stay fit but also to stay healthy. And of course, health means also something more than just staying fit and being physical. So in today's video, we are giving you 10 tips from us how to stay healthy during the pandemic. Because health is a very important issue, guys. Yes, and you have to stay healthy mentally and physically. Yes. So. We hope that these 10 tips can maybe help you get to that state of living a healthy mental and physical lifestyle while you are locked down in your house and trying to survive this pandemic. But before we are starting, make sure you subscribe to my channel and give the video a thumbs up if you like it. Kiki has a really great blog and you can find it in the descriptions and in this link up here. It's oh. a Dutch blog. Oh yeah, it's a Dutch blog. <laughs> so only for, sorry, only for Dutchies because I write in Dutch, but... Doesn't matter, use Google Translate if you're interested, use right? Use Translate, yes. Exactly. But without further ado, let's go and dive down into these 10 tips how to stay healthy during the pandemic so our first tip to you and this is a tip that oh my god like i had to find my way around it because i was basically obsessed but this number one tip is don't watch too much corona news don't get yourself hyped up or read about all these things and the new discoveries and stuff like that because if you do this day to day or even more than once a day you're gonna drive yourself crazy mm -hmm. but that said do keep yourself updated and do school yourself and do your research every week and do watch the news because it is important to stay current and up to date about the recent developments in your own country so don't do it too much but do it a little bit. Yes, at first I was very curious. I wanted to know everything and every update because I really wanted to know when the gym was closing. You know, I'm in oh the God, gym yeah. every day. So I wanted to see the news every day and every time, but you will get very depressed of it. So don't watch it too much. Just watch it whenever you need it, every week or watch an update that's better for your health, your mental health. Exactly, definitely a mental health tip one. Tip number to eat healthy yay yay but first you need to do some groceries make sure you have healthy food in your house actually it starts with doing groceries when you go to the grocery stores don't get yourself chips and chocolate and all that kind of stuff because when you want to live like a healthier lifestyle and you're at home and you're bored you're going to open up a bag of chips you are going to go and dig down into your closet until you have found every single last piece of chocolate so the most important thing if you want to snack just get a cucumber or a carrot or a tomato, cherry tomatoes, and put it in a hummus. It's very nice. You want to eat it all. It's like chips, but then healthy. Exactly. So make sure you start off with the groceries. Make a plan that you're going to buy only healthy stuff. Then when you are going to crave something and you're at home watching a movie, you only have healthy stuff to eat. Mm -hmm. I'm not so good at that because I buy chips and chocolate. So I'm guilty to this. But you're actually a little bit more better at it than me. I'm dedicated. <laughs> She's dedicated. I'm dedicated. Okay, okay, so okay. But keep eating healthy because your body is gonna just feel way better when you eat healthy. When you eat healthy, you're mentally also healthy because you're not angry to yourself that you ate some chips or you ate unhealthy. It's good for your body, but it is also mentally healthy. Tip number three, stay social, guys. I think that when we all entered the lockdown back in like March here, I feel a lot of people were just like 
busy with themselves. I really felt the need to, because I couldn't see anybody anymore. No. It's so good nowadays you have Skype, house party app, you have Zoom, you have FaceTime, you have WhatsApp video call, you have everything. It's so nice to see people and just don't just text but actually set up meetings, set up like mm -hmm. visual meetings so you see each other, you can talk, you can have a laugh. Just put it in your agenda and maybe on Friday night you will have a drink or maybe with your friends on Zoom or on house party. Exactly. It's also nice, you're like virtually with virtual, virtually? Virtually, I also... <laughs> <laughs> You're virtually together with, with your people. Friends, yeah, yes. it's it's so nice. And actually, like um, when the pandemic happened, me and my boyfriend did like ten tips and tricks to survive coronavirus pandemic. So make sure you watch that video as well because we also talk a little bit more about a concept that we created, which was hosting online cocktail parties, and it's a lot of fun. So really stay social with everybody because I know we're all locked in our own houses, and some in some countries you cannot even go outside but keep seeing people through social media and through visual calls. It's so important to stay social. It, it will make you feel more connected and just, yeah. And don't always text your friends, but also call them like, okay, hi, how are you? Just uh, spontaneous. spontaneous. Yeah, exactly. Okay, tip number four. It's very important to separate business from personal time because I work 40 hours per day <laughs> That's a lot. There's not even 40 hours in a day. <laughs> so I work 40 hours per week from home. I'm in my home space like all day, all night. And when I work eight hours per day, I really want to go to my friends in the evening, just do some other things, not be in your working space the whole time because you're thinking about work the whole time. You see your laptop, you want to work in the evening, but it's not very good to do that yeah really just separate it like yes. when you're done with work you're done with work normally when you're at an office or you work outside of your house you don't bring your work home but now work is at home so yes. devote to the fact that you also have a personal life for yourself so once business is done your personal thing happens but don't let business come back into your personal sphere or your personal activities because then you're not gonna give your brain rest like you're gonna feel so stressed all the time like oh i have to still send this email or i still have to make that project or that deadline like calm down work is work personal time is personal time and it's also very important to just take a break sometimes once in a while because when you're working from home you just want to work 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 so you're earlier done with working for example so take your breaks normally you go to the coffee machine and talk with some colleagues so maybe you have a break for 30 minutes Call your friends, like... Yeah, do something with do it. Do something with it, yeah. so you're off work for half an hour and then you just work again. That's a good thing, yeah, yes. to really take your breaks as well, yeah. Number five, set achievable goals. This you can take really into a lot of different ways, let's say. Because for example, if you want to stay healthy and you want to lose weight during the pandemic and you want to lose five kilos and then after one week you're like, oh, I only lost one, like how's it happen? That's not achievable, that's not a real goal. You set your goal for the end of the month, for example, or you just set smaller goals for every week. Mm -hmm. And you can do this with work, for example, even during the day when you're like, okay, when I go until my break, I want to be there. And then after my break, I want to get to that point. It feels good if you set achievable and realistic goals. Yes. You know, I didn't have any goals before I went to the gym. So since I go to the gym every once in a while and I have my goals and I achieve these goals, I'm doing the same with my blog, you know? Yeah. So I think it's important to set these goals so you're mentally healthier and it's better for you as a person. And you don't and get stressed out by not getting to it, for example. It's a good feeling when you achieve a goal mm -hmm. that's not too crazy. You can have a little bit of celebration party. Exactly. Go on Zoom and get that cocktail party done. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Here's number six. Tip number six. Be creative with your workouts. Okay, so you're at home, you don't have these uh, gym gear at home, but you want to work out and maybe with some weights, but you don't have weights at home. So what be do creative, you do? be creative. Okay. okay. Do you have maybe some empty wine bottles in your house? 
Plenty. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so first tip, you have an empty wine bottle, but you can fill it with water. And you know, you can do a lot of things with a bottle with water, because you can do a shoulder press, for example. Nice! Mm -hmm. So you can put as much as water if you want in the bottle. So you can make it as heavy as you want. Yeah. And another tip, maybe you have a backpack at home. Yeah. Put some books in it. Books. Put your backpack on yeah. and squat. For example. Oh my god, squatting with my backpack. Yeah, squatting with your backpack. <laughs> or maybe do a hip thrust with your backpack. Just put your backpack on your hips. Oh my god, I didn't even think of this <laughs> one. What? I'm getting new knowledge here. Yes. So you can really be creative and invent your own gear. Outside of that, for example, like you have your normal set of fitness exercises. But there is also a massive online community that that will provide you with fun classes like if you don't really feel like doing like a really powerful class where you just you know like lift weights and stuff go and find yourself a Zumba class on YouTube and just that's also a workout guys there is a lot of fun ways and different ways to have and get a workout done such as dance classes there are a lot of teachers that don't have work nowadays because of the coronavirus so they arrange online classes you can follow for free or maybe for a small amount yeah, of yeah. money. I actually did some dance tutorials, more like some, some choreography small dance tutorials. So I will be linking them down below if you guys want to do like some dancing. It's easy, but it's fun. It's just like to pass the time and be, mm -hmm. be active and sweat a little bit. So tip number seven is actually an extension of tip number six. We were talking about finding ways to lift and whatever like that. But you can also just go on Amazon or on any other website and you can actually buy yourself some fitness gear What would you buy for example? Well, I have a booty bands. You know what it is? You have a <coughs> 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 This I'm gonna use <laughs> And then zoom in zoom in zoom in <laughs> Okay I always use a booty band. A booty band? Yes. It's an um, elastic band and you put it on your... Booty? <laughs> no? <laughs> no, actually on your legs, your oh. upper legs. Okay. And then you do like also the hip thrust or something. Yeah. But you can also do things like squats and it's heavier when you do it with a booty band than without so so there's weight on it it's not it's weight, more like a it's elastic ah uh, so it's like um yeah <laughs> finding the word in english is hard um it's like resistance it's a resistant band yeah yes. okay that's what i always use yeah to activate your booty yes i like a good booty booty but booty booty also for the guys if you want to train your biceps we also have this one yes oh my god look how it looks on camera it's like so neon green Ooh. it's also like a resistant band yeah it's also resistant and you can put it on your under your feet maybe i can do it for you guys yes okay and you can do it like this yes look at those guns <laughs> <laughs> but you can do multiple things with these yeah you can also like do like shoulder presses like if you like go a little bit more diagonal and you can or you train your back yeah exactly you can do so many different things with that and this was actually like ten dollars or something it's so very cheap also the booty bands are very cheap there is actually a lot of cheap gear out there that you can just buy and find if you guys are interested in like buying one of these like resistant bands or booty bands or whatever make sure you check out my description down below as i enlisted a few fun workouts bands sets or workout gear that you should definitely check out so make sure you like check them out below and let me know if you like them maybe no. you can show a video of you yeah share what you guys think of it yes yes definitely and how it works out for you eight tip eight a cheat day Oh. It's very important when you eat healthy all the time, you need to have one cheat day per week. I normally do it on in the weekend, so on Saturday or Sunday, and I want to drink some wine, I want to eat some candy, I want to eat some fries maybe. <laughs> oh my chips. god, yes! I love it. Or a pizza or a pancake. Yeah. Treat yourself. You have yeah. to pamper yourself after all the hard work of eating healthy and doing sports. Yeah. A cheat day is very important. I I think like you talked a lot about the food but for example also if you have a whole week where you have like working from nine to five or nine to six all the time and then you eat healthy and then you gym it out it's really important to also take your cheat day on a food level but also on like a mental level mm -hmm. so really relax and give yourself a day where you just lay on the couch and watch some movies and 
Don't eat, do any eat shitty stuff. But don't it's... do any workouts. Some days it's, it's very good to just relax your muscles and don't do too much and just lay down. And the, and the body also rests, so you like really rejuvenate for when you start your next week. Tip number nine. We are almost there. We have two more tips, so make sure you stay tuned. But tip number nine. Try to leave your house at least once a day. And I know some countries don't really allow people to go out of their houses, so I know that if you aren't allowed, please don't do that and please don't follow this tip, but follow your authorities and your government and the rules and stuff. But if you can leave your house, make sure you leave your house. Walk around, bike around, just just enjoy the outside air the, and the nature it's nice to be out there in nature in the environment where it's all green it feels so refreshing when you're outside and also you can really detach from what you did at home so like for example what we said earlier on separate business from personal maybe in your break you go for half an hour on a walk mm -hmm. for example you get yourself some coffee and you go for a little walk down in the park or down in the street and you already feel like you left these things behind and you don't have to think about it you come back to it and you come back With fresh refreshed mind. exactly mm -hmm. 100% again if you aren't allowed please don't do that 10 10 10 10 10 we're almost there yeah we're okay. almost there tip 10 pamper yourself it's very oh. important to pamper yourself once in a while because normally you go out and go to shops and get some clothes and look good or you have a reason to look good also mm -hmm. you have a reason to but it's also good to just buy something online and treat yourself so when you buy something online you will receive it in a box or something and then you can unwrap it and it's like a gift it's, it's just make me happy, it makes me happy. Definitely. I don't know if it's you or me. No, I have to say like when something new arrives, I'm like hyped up and I play with it or I try it and you know, like that's how you just roll with it. Because we all already gave like all these nine other tips and we actually already had one that says like cheat day, but it's so important to live strict and, and live by your rules, but then also treat yourself when you do it. For example, yes. when you had a whole week, when you nailed your goals, when you nailed your workouts, where you bought healthy groceries and everything, and then you achieved something or you lost a kilo, it's time to celebrate. Mm -hmm. You should celebrate a little bit and therefore you should pamper yourself, obviously. Yes, and maybe you're in your house all the time and you think, hmm, let's buy something in our house, like a new accessory or plants or plants, plants. Like. i have a lot of plants in my house and i'm planning to do like a plant haul so if you guys are interested in that drop a comment below and share with me if you want to see me do a plant haul because i love my babies and, <laughs> and they have names <laughs> they have all names and it's coming up soon so be prepared for a plant haul but that was sidetracking <laughs> Well, so these were our 10 tips to basically stay healthy during the pandemic. During the pandemic, mentally and physically. I hope these tips were very useful for you. So drop a comment below if you use these tips because we want to know if it works or not. Definitely, definitely. And I want to say thank you for having a really nice time and actually also enriching me with some new knowledge and tips. And thank you for having me. You're welcome. You're so welcome. And I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. New videos are up every Monday and every Thursday. This was the Rebel Show. Make sure you are subscribed to my channel. Give the video a thumbs up if you like it. Follow Kiki, her blog, down below. And check out our Instagrams up there. Just make sure you check them out. I don't see them. Yeah, they're just gonna pop up there. Oh. <laughs> oh. I was making a joke. Oh, okay. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching so much. We really appreciate it. And I see you at the next one. Peace out. I hope to see you oh. soon as well in Rebel's show. Peace out. Peace out. <laughs> Three, two, one. Peace, Peace out. out. <laughs> <laughs>